What's up? It's Maddie at MixTheMasterMySong.com. Today I want to show you a couple tools I use to get big stereo width. Everyone always wants things wider sounding, especially with headphones and speakers. So thought I'd go over a couple tools I use uh, to achieve that. And um, one I use for individual tracks and one I use on my full mix uh, a lot of the times. So I'll show you both those tools and um, hopefully can help you, you know, get things wider when you need to. Um, the first one, which is my favorite stereo width plugin of all time, is the BX Stereo Maker by Plugin Alliance. Um, this thing's amazing because it can really widen mono signals and still keep mono comp cat compatibility, but also just make things huge and wide. So I put it on this bass, and let me play the bass for you. crazy right and it's huge and also um i'll show you if i switch to mono it, the bass doesn't go away because a lot of times when you have things really wide the bass will, the and then you go to mono it disappears but check it out i'll play it with it on so it's crazy um Basically what this does, it has a, 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 it's really simple. A lot of times you can just go with the preset also, like bass wide. Um, this is how far it's gonna spread. So I'll play it and show you kinda. This is your mono frequency. So whatever this is at, it will mono uh, below that basically so everything from 116 hertz below will stay mono um, and then everything else will spread with the stereo effect so you can do that up to 250 hertz which is always helpful because a lot of times even if i was gonna i, I don't widen bases that much but if i was going to i'd want to keep like below 100 probably mono um, high dampening kind of like dampens the spatial effect uh, it, it's kind of hard to explain but let me let me just turn the knob so you can hear so it kind of like makes the effect not sound so strange but still keeps it there um it's a little subtle but it, it's actually helpful on certain certain sounds uh the tone is kind of where it splits the frequency i couldn't get like a real clear explanation of what exactly it does in the manual but as you turn it you understand it, it kind of picks where the frequencies best fits the sound so if you turn it way down here it sounds kind of weird So I found right around 3.30 to kind of be the best spot for that. Um, so it's kind of self-explanatory. It shows, you know, you'll get the idea once you play with this bit. And then you have tilt and pan. Tilt, you can kind of tilt it a little to the right or the left, but still keep the spatial, keep the thing in the center, but it will tilt the spatial effect basically. And then pan is actually like a hard pan. Um, it's cool to have a correlation meter on here because if you get too far out, it will let you know. So that's what I use on instruments. I use this on synths a lot. I use it on bass from time to time. Um, if I want to get like a wide hi-hat sound, it's really cool to use. Um, and that's about it. Maybe a guitar once in a while. But yeah, it's an awesome plugin and I use it a lot. Now, the second thing I use is, I'll just mute that for now, by UAD. And it is the K Stereo. Now, it has this ambience enhancer which works from time to time but i don't really use it honestly i just use this for the ms and you can use center by waves for the same reason i just like have this because um i like the uad stuff and it takes less resources on my computer so what i do a lot on mixes is i'll just widen out the sides 2 to 4 db depending and i'll i'll, I'll play just a loop here and you can hear the difference Let me mute that so you 
you can hear what it's doing, it's taking the side information and it's turning it up. It's a really cool effect. It helps your mix sound a lot bigger. I do it all the time in mastering. Um, and and it's just a, it's a really simple trick. Like I said, you could do that with Center too if you have the Waves plugin. Um, so I hope that helps. Just some really cool tips. Um, width is always great and it makes things sound impressive. Another great one that I didn't throw in here that I do use from time to time is the Ozone 7 or 8 has the um, individual bands that you can actually switch it on and that's also a great plugin that I do use from time to time but but the simplicity of the um, K stereo is uh, just great for me when I'm kind of moving fast so anyway hope that helps um, check out these plugins and, and, and see what you can come up with if you got any questions leave them in the comments below um, please like and subscribe and if you need your songs mixed or mastered hit me up at maddie at mixandmastermysong.com thanks Thank you.